He's a man of God, but is living like a superstar. A local preacher's extravagant lifestyle uh, costs a fortune, and guess who's paying for it? Action News investigator Ray Saya joins us with the story. Ray? Stephen, this is a very sensitive issue for a lot of people with strong feelings on both sides. We found absolutely nothing illegal about how the church in this report conducts its business. Some question, why is material wealth for a pastor a bit too much, especially when it's costing taxpayers? A $3.6 million mansion, a brand new Benz, and an Escalade to cart around his kids. It looks like the life of a wealthy rock star. Instead, it's the plush lifestyle of Pastor Ben Jabert. I said, what I'm trying to get you to understand is that you don't strive for money, you submit to prosperity. When Action News asked about the pastor's luxurious lifestyle, something strange happened. Okay, we have someone that we would like for you to talk to. Not First, we were invited in. But minutes later, the church lawyer showed us the door. I'm going to ask you to leave. Action News wasn't welcome, but every Sunday, Pastor Ben welcomes thousands to Detroit World Outreach Church in Redford. And when they come, they open their wallets and checkbooks. This is undercover video of the church accepting the donations that have the former auto exec living the high life. I mean, rich is not the same for everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Those church donations are paying for this 12,000 square foot mansion in Northville Township, where the pastor and his family live. A lavish crib, complete with a bar, wine tasting room, jacuzzi, sauna, and six-car garage for pastors Benz and this Escalade. In this fact statement, the church says the Escalade is leased by the church and used by church personnel. But we saw the Escalade parked at the pastor's mansion and used by a driver to chauffeur the pastor's children to school. The letter from the church also states it purchased the mansion for $3.6 million, more than $1 million less than the market value. It also says the congregation knows about it, but the first two church members we asked weren't so sure. We were just curious if you knew where Pastor Ben lived. No. Pastor Ben, uh -huh. you know where he lives, sir? Yes or no? We represent the king of the most high God, the emperor and creator of the universe. If the man of God can't have a house, this is a palatial a mansion. Church. Tiger Woods can make a hundred million dollars a year, and it's not newsworthy. <laughs> Do you live like Tiger Woods or a rock star? <laughs> no. <laughs> Reverend Nicholas Hood III heads Plymouth United Church of Christ. The former Detroit councilman says he gets a housing allowance, but doesn't live in a mansion and pays for his own car. I still live in Detroit, east side of Detroit, and, uh, you know, I drive a car. It's four or five years old. The mansion provided for Pastor Ben also takes away tax money. In Michigan, churches don't pay property tax. Our board of trustees, you know, they kind of looked at, like, why, you know, it is kind of an expensive house for a, a minister to live in. Thelma Kabutsky is Northville Township's assistant manager. She says the mega mansion goes off the tax rolls next month. That means the state, county, and township won't get $40,000 in taxes, but Pastor Ben still gets police, fire, and school services. A loss of revenue for us, and it's going to be a loss of revenue to all the other taxing agencies within the township big or small in today's economy, that's, that's a lot of money. Is $3.6 million too much for a church to spend on a pastor's home? Ever. Not at Detroit World Outreach. You're carnal. You don't understand. I don't have any help. me understand, sir. Sure. Take the camera. Leave. And we did. We should note in its letter, the church said the pastor's Mercedes is not leased by the church, and we haven't reported that it is. So what do you think? Is it okay for a church to buy a multi-million dollar estate for its pastor? We asked, you answered. Here are now results of our online poll. 75% said yes, it is okay. 25% said no. That poll is still on our website, and we would love for you to go ahead and vote. Very delicate issue mm -hmm. for a lot of people. Some people question this type of material wealth for a pastor. Others don't. They say it's okay, and certainly that... Uh, the online poll indicates that. And, and you assume all that money that bought it came from donations to the church. Absolutely. It's a parsonage bought for the church. All right, thank you for that.